Hey, goedemorgen. Good morning. So my name is Stan. I am a computer engineer and I'm the founder of CoScale. Today I would like to talk about continuous performance monitoring in a sea of change. But first, a quick question. Who of you is already deploying software daily or almost daily? Okay, very good. We're still a bit shy this morning, but that's okay. So 17% of us is already deploying daily. That's great. But why are we doing continuous deployments? Well, we want to prove business value fast. We want to improve our product quality and our service. Because in the end, we want to make our customers happy. Now, let's be honest. Our managers think that deploying each day is easy and simple. They think it's like in the movie Groundhog Day, where the same day happens over and over again. But we, as engineers, we know that's not true, right? We know that each deploy is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. So how do we monitor a box of chocolates? Let's take a look at a definition by Ryan Franz from Etsy about monitoring. He talks about health, performance, and events for failure scenarios. It's a good def definition. I want to make a slight change by the end of my talk. So we're already monitoring our front end. We're taking a look at page load times, image caching, stuff like that. Is that enough? Please, let's not forget the back end. It has a huge impact on application performance. Are we there yet? I don't think so. What you really need is a global business view. We have to go beyond these technical metrics. We have to think about what business metrics are important for our organization. And this is different for every type of organization. If you're an e-commerce site, you might be thinking about the number of orders. If you're a media site, you might be thinking about the number of articles being viewed, the number of likes, and stuff like that. The question is, what matters to your business? Now, you will soon realize that everyone in your organization is doing continuous delivery. Your development, they're pushing software updates. Um, your operations team is doing infrastructure changes. Your marketing and your sales are doing campaigns and promotions. And traditionally, they all have been looking at their own metrics while they have a huge impact on each other. Let's take a look at a real life example. So we're taking a look at a web shop here. And as we all know, there's always something going on. This time, marketing is launching a new marketing campaign for a new set of products. So the campaign is launched. We see the number of visitors going up. Marketing is very happy. Sales is also happy because we see an increase in revenue. We see a drop in conversion, but this might be explained by the fact that some of the visitors attracted by the marketing campaign weren't really interested in buying something. However, our DevOps team is not happy. They see that the page load time increased. They take a look into this problem, and they see that there is actually a missing database index on one of the new product tables. So they decide to fix this problem. After deploying the fix, they see that the revenue goes up. Our conversion went up because we had a better experience on our website. This example clearly shows how our DevOps team helped to make the marketing campaign to become a success. Let's get back to the definition by Ryan Franz. So I want to emphasize here that we should not only be focusing on technical metrics. We should take our business KPIs into account. Now, on top of that, monitoring is here for us engineers to show to the business what value we have, to show why we're deploying, why we're doing these fixes. We can use monitoring to show how we can monitor failure scenarios, but more important, how we can monitor success stories as well. If you'd like to know more about CoScale, please attend our session on anomaly detection this afternoon. And please come and drink a Belgian beer tonight at our booth. Thank you.